Hi, I'm going to show you how to use pixel art. So today we are going to go to the pixel art website. You're going to click start drawing. And you're just going to scroll down and you're going to notice that it's got 100 pixels with width and 100 pixels with height. We're going to just choose that. All right, so here we are. We've got 100 by 100. We're going to start a new layer. So we have a new layer, we have a background, and I'm going to teach you how to do the gradient tool. I'm going to select some colors and make sure that you notice that I'm on the background layer. My background layer is a little bit grayer than my other one, and I'm choosing two different colors. I'm choosing a blue and a green. And you can use the gradient in any way. If you click in the middle of your screen, it's going to start it halfway down and you're going to have more one color than the other. And it can go sideways or diagonal or horizontal any way you want. So now I'm clicking to my next layer and I'm going to try um, a different tool. We're going to use the stamp tool. No, we're going to use the dither tool. I'm going to make sure that I'm choosing what color I want. I want white because I'm going to make some fluffy clouds using the dithering tool. The dithering tool, as you can see, has pixels every other pixel. So every other square, it's going to color in. So you won't have a consistent line. It'll make it more um, transparent or, as I think, fluffy looking. Now I'm looking at the stamps, going a little fast here, sorry. And I'm typing in tree. And I'm trying to figure out which tree I want. So again, I went into the stamps. You can see that it's highlighted blue in the side. I'm finding a tree that I like, and I'm going to scale it down to the size that I want. And I'm moving it and placing it. As long as it has those three dots, you can move it. So now I'm going to add a bush. And you can hit, con you can hit um, control C for copy and then control V for paste. So I was able to make two right away. Now I'm adding one more layer and I'm going to draw my character. This is so there's a brush tool and we'll show you what it looks like. You don't want to use the brush tool because you can see that it's bigger and not as precise. So I'm making sure I find my pencil tool. And I'm going to start my drawing. Ugh, get out of there, add. I don't want you. All right, so making sure that I have the right color. Scrolling down, making sure I have my right color. I'm just going to use black. And I'm going to draw my guy. You have lots of different colors on the side there, so please play around with it. And I'm drawing my guy. Uh, oh, oh, I don't like that. I'm going to go to my undo and try again. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can always undo and you can always redo and change things around. So once I get my guy the way I like him, I'm going to add some pants, shirt. Got to add those sleeves in there. Oh, I think he needs a face. Let's give him a face. nose, a nice big smile, and let's give him eyebrows, and I'm thinking some crazy hair, yeah, let's do some crazy hair, so we're going to have our crazy hair guy, And now we need to color him. So I'm going to my paint bucket tool and I'm going to color him in with his crazy hair, making sure you're getting all the little bits. Let's give him an orange shirt and some blue pants. And here we have my guy. So I can move, because I'm on the third layer, I can move just my guy now anywhere I want. So that's why it's important to use different layers because if I was all on the same layer, it would move that whole layer, everything that I did. Now I'm going to go to download right there. 
scroll up so you can see. I'm just going to go ahead and download it. When you download, click that download button, it's going to save directly to your Google Drive. You can also save it and title it however you want. I'm going to title this one Crazy Hair Guy or Crazy Hair Man. I'm going to go ahead and save the drawing. So it's creating a replay. It's going to take a little while. I'm not sure if I'm going to wait the whole time to create the replay, but I can go ahead and um, save it this way. But downloading is most important, so you're going to want to make sure you download. You can also save it as a pixel if you plan on editing it later. So I'm going to go ahead and click out. So this is how you create your pixel art. Next time I'm going to show you how to use those layers to create an animation.